Good evening, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com and OptionMarketMentor.com um, on Tuesday, January 8th. And I want to look at uh, Ren Ren and then we're going to look at something else. Remember uh, the last few days I was talking about this and noting that for the first time, this was yesterday, um, the stock, let's see if I can goose this over here a little bit. There we go. Um, the stock closed near the like the middle to kind of the lower end of the range. Um, and after a run like this, what that really signifies, signified uh, past tense was an intraday reversal. And it was really time to, uh, to take profits or at least lock them in with a stop. I mean, it's closed too many days up above the upper, upper Bollinger Band. Um, stock's just not going to do that. So today uh, we got a pullback, a pretty significant pullback. And this is why you want to use stops because if even if you had set your stop a little bit below the low here of 374 on a percentage basis you know you're still getting out below 362 now it doesn't sound like much but we're talking percentage here guys this is a goofy three dollar stock okay it's a total speculative thing it's a chart basically is what it is it's a chart so um, the bottom line is, at this point, I would want to wait and see this stock pull back and find some kind of support right around here, and maybe it's worth giving it um, another go. But for now, you know, that's the trade. Now, let's look at another one. Um, Sohu, <coughs> this was a stock consolidated right around the 200-day moving average for a while. This is about what I would call like a measured move. Um, the distance between this level and the 200 day moving average and the or this little really this little kind of flag pattern right in here that distance is about the same as this distance right here so this is one where i think this has run its course this move has run its course you want to stay away from this and wait for the stock to come back and test the 200 day moving average and then if it starts to bounce that's your trade there the bottom line is this right now the and I go into this more in the strategy session for members um, the markets in a little bit of a resting phase and this is the cycle of markets stocks go up stocks go down and sometimes in between the up and the down part are some sideways churning um, days and that's really what we're getting now and it's really just kind of a function of no real buyers and so until traders find a reason to buy the market right kind of right here right now you're going to see some weakness so i want you to do this protect the profits that you have if you've been trading since the first of the year unless you're short shame on you um, but unless unless you're short if you've been trading since the beginning of the year you should be profitable i don't want to see you give those profits back by insisting on getting more don't do that. Take what the market gives you. Don't insist on more because if you do insist on more, the market will reach up and slap you silly very quickly. So let's not let that happen, okay? All right, uh, members, get over to the uh, strategy session and uh, we'll look at some stocks. <laughs>